Welcome to Overload. My name is the EEOC, the one and only end of corruption. And next to me today on the comms desk is the Miss Insanity herself, Miss Nay Nay. Say hello. Hi, EOC. How are you? I am doing superb. And of course, she may be new, but she's certainly full of fire. That's right, it's Miss Fire Ember. Hello, I hope everyone is ready for the party to start. We certainly are, we certainly are. It's going to be one hell of a show we have for you today. All right, comms, I, I'm going to ask just a minute, because I, I, I got a few things I need to get off my chest. Yes, I did fantastically last week, and it's all thanks to you, fans. Thank you. Um, but... And, and, and I know I put my belt on the line last week, and I want it back. And, you know, it just didn't feel like a challenge. So, today, I am going to put my belt on the line once again. And I am going to... And this is... This is to those of you in the ladies' overload locker room. I want a true opponent. Someone who is uh, a real fighter. Somebody that can... Somebody that matches my skill. So, is there anybody back there that might possibly be good enough... To stand in this ring against me. I'm excited. Wait. B. What? Really? They're oh, going to bring. Oh. To listen what? to what? that. Yeah. Rebel doesn't sound too sure. Even she's a little bit shocked at the moment. Um, Kia, what are you doing out here, dear? Kia, do you do you want to explain this? I mean, I, I'm so confused. Rebel, I'm sorry to say this. You asked for a challenge. The North answers. You better be ready. This but, is for the North. Oh my God, Let's you're my best friend. I can't believe we? that you're doing this to me. Okay. Wow. Two friends going wow. at it for the belt. Man. So much for being friends. It doesn't mean for much over here in Overload, does it? I mean, this is going to be a very competitive match. She is not wrong. She asked for a challenge. Well, yeah, but I don't think Rebel was expecting Kia, of all people, to come out. You know, it makes a lot of sense considering that Kia's whole culture is built around answering challenges. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. Man. Rebel uh, is I looking a little bet. nervous about this one. Yeah, I mean, champion or not, you're going up against somebody who can truly be called a shield maiden and an absolute warrior. She's definitely a powerhouse. Yes, she is. But both women are brawlers. So this is going to be quite interesting. Well, well I mean, one... Rebel's no slouch. I mean, think about it this way. She spent the entire offseason at the gym bulking up a bit with her personal trainer. You could tell she's ready for something like this. 
Well, EOC, do you want to give these ladies stats before this match begins? I certainly can. I certainly can. Ladies and gentlemen, standing in the corner, she's your champion. She's our champion. She stands at 165 pounds and 5 foot 11. It's the Rebel Sweetheart and her competitor today, Kia the Shield Maiden, standing at 6 foot 6 and 235 pounds of raw Shield Maiden power. Man. Right. This is just... And this is for the Women's Championship. That's Lady right. If she loses this match, she walks out of this ring without that belt, and her friend will be the one to have taken it away from her. And she, it's going to be hard because she's been the longest reigning women's champ. She so, may be the reigning women's champ, but she's at a disadvantage in this fight. And Q with that hammer strike lockup. Man. How do you even get out of something like that? I'm still in shock that Kia was the one that answered the challenge. I Ooh. think Rebel probably is as well. She's going for... Is that a clothesline, but she misses? Oh, man. Wait a minute. She's come back, and she connects. Oh, she oh, just wow. used her signature. That's the hail fail. Oh, man. Wow, that was... That was... Oh, man. Ooh. The Rebel is coming up strong and fast. Very much she, so. She realizes the situation she's in. If she loses this belt now... Like you said earlier, she walks out of here as having once been the longest reigning champion in the Women's Federation. Mm -hmm. oh, and there was a pin and just a one count on that pin. Picking her up off the floor. Man. Oh, and oh. Rebel with that drop kick to the nice face. Drop kick. Ow. Oh, man. Ow. She didn't lose any teeth in that. Ow. Lord. Ow. I wonder if there is going to be any teeth knocked out over that one. So oh, I want to ask the fans. Who do you guys want to win? Yeah, who do you guys want to win? You guys are awfully quiet out there. I mean, this is for the women's championship. Do you want Rebel to win this one, or do you want Kia? Okay, we got one for the Rebel Nation. All right. And one for Kia. Oh. Well, it looks like the crowd is pretty evenly divided. I mean, how can you choose? Exactly. And Kia getting up strong there. She's not going to be one to stay down on her back for long. No, not at all. Oh, nice uh, choke slam. Oh, I'm telling you, when somebody that size pick is, picks you up by your throat, you're going to know it. You know, she's, some she's people pay good money now to have that going done. for the pinfall. Only a two just, count. Yep, oh, just oh, two. Only a two count. Looks Neither like one she's going to let her go and get up. Well, I mean, Rebel has a lot to lose here, and Kia has a lot to win. So. Oh, and Rebel coming back with those punches. Just a flurry of old school punches to the face. Right? Major cat fight going on in that ring. The only thing we haven't had happen is hair pulling. And let's be honest, it could get to that point. Mm, I've never seen Kia pull hair. 
That's one thing no, I've I never seen Pia do. Oh, and Rebel just used the Rebel Kiss! Going for a signature like that already in this match? Well, that's the second one she's used. Yeah, I think she's kind of gotten over the fact that she's fighting her best friend. Right? Which is exactly what she needs to do. And the crowd is majorly divided here, folks. Some for Kia and some for Rebel. I don't know. I kind of like them both. I, you know, it's kind of hard to choose or who I really want to win here. It really is. They're, they're both Oh, such... the taillight warranty. Man. Oh, Rebels pulling Ooh. out all the stops here. Dang. Oh, my goodness. Ow. Oh, and Rebel has started her been. signature oh. finishing sequence. Only a two count. Yeah. Will she Will be she able be to able continue? continue? I don't think the so. The amount of damage she's taken, I doubt it. She's getting up pretty slow. Both of them are. Both of these ladies are hurt. Oof, and Rebel is back on the ground again. That backbreaker is guaranteed to shatter a spine. Well, one thing is guaranteed here, guys. One of these ladies is walking out of here, the lady, the women's champion. That's for sure. I'm telling you, it's looking more and more like she's about to walk out of here without her belt. Well, you never know. Oh, man! Okay. Oh. Devastating that will be for for Rebel if that happens. I'll tell you, I think the audience is just as torn up about this as we are. Well, I'm pulling for Kia, you're pulling for Rebel. In oh, the end, just neither stops. side can decide. Oh man! I like, I like them both. You know, it, it, I. It's it's not an easy call. Oh, sent her into the corner. Oh. She yeah. felt. Like she just had her bell rung. Oof. Oh. Yeah, now, like, oh, that now, fans, you can hit the buttons on the side to chair, boo, do whatever. Hit any of those buttons. It's amazing to be able to interact with us. Cheer, boo, just, or moo. Everyone is welcome at Premiere. Uh oh. What's she up to now? Oh, man. Millions of things she could do up here. Oh! Ow! Ow! Rebel's gonna need to see her chiropractor in the morning after that. Yeah. Here we go. She's setting up. Oh, and Kia's gonna go flying. And it lands! Dear oh. God. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how Rubble's up. Your adrenaline. I think that did more damage to Kia than it did to Rebel. I think so you know, too. Oh, and these two ladies are it. just literally brawling in the ring now. Exactly. And I'm telling you, there's a reason they call it the high risk district because you risk taking more damage than you do to your opponent. Oh man, that DDT by Ro Oh. You know, I have so much respect for both of these women. It it just I can't I don't I don't know who to cheer for. So to both of them. I'm telling you, I can't feel sad for either side right now. All I know is is I wanna see some more bloodshed before they get out of this ring. Are you with me, Vermeer? Do you want to see these two absolutely tear each other apart? 
you're just out for the bloodshed. Yes and no. Yeah. Depends on how you look at it. It's not oh, like we plan on bottling on it up knee. and selling it on the market afterwards. Not opposed to bloodshed. I mean, when you party, there's always bloodshed, right? Exactly. Really? And don't you know, celebrity blood goes for big on the black market. I mean, I wouldn't know anything oh, about that. drop kick to the face. Ow. If her teeth weren't loose before, they were with that. And guys, it looks like Rebel's starting her signature finishing sequence here. She is firing back up to go back into that finisher. But she is absolutely worn out to the point of no end. Oh, man. This is getting painful to watch. Both women and Kia are... just shoving her. But it's not over yet. Oh. And that was a nice run guillotine. Ugh. Another choke slam onto the back that she's been working oh, on this man. entire fight. And the crowd's going oh. nuts now. I think oh. that the champ is here and the Valkyrie's calling. I think this is I, it, ladies and gentlemen. I think you're right. There she goes. Cutthroat. Oh boy. Oh. I almost can't watch. But I can't not. I know, right? You don't want to watch, but you just can't, you can't tear your ear, eyes away. And One, down she goes. Two, two, three. three. That and is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ring and the a bell, sound the gong. Your championship match has been decided. And it looks like Kia oh. Norsewood is going to walk out of here with the belt today. The new winner, you, yeah, the winner of your match and new women's oh. champion, Kia. <laughs> oh, oh, Kia, how could, how could you, how could you do this to me? I thought you were like a sister to me, my best friend. I just, I, I don't understand. And Rebel is just as surprised as many of us as what just happened. The longest running women's champion was just shut down by her own best friend. Congrats, Kia. Are you looking for a new motorcycle? Can't find one that'll fit your lifestyle? Looking for one that'll turn heads and ride like a dream? Then check out JFC Bikes. We have bikes with the spirit. Made of the best quality bike parts and scripted with the legendary, unique JFC Bike Script. Contact JRamagic for more information and you could be riding on your dream bike today. Are you looking for a beach town with an amusement park that's right on the boardwalk? Or one that has an exciting nightclub and plenty of inexpensive homes to rent? Well, right here at Karen's Cove, we have it all. Look no further. If you would like more information, please contact Isaiah Zay Jenkins, Apollo Cypress, Nene Lyons Ember, Renee Simithorn Nickers, or Randy Glenfat. Is from Jutland, Denmark, weighing in at 160 pounds, standing five foot three, a fucking badass. It's Kaylee the Baker. Ooh, wonder if she's gonna bring us some cake. Ooh, I was just thinking that. You read my mind. I know, right? I don't know. Sitting next to you, and see, all of a sudden, I got very hungry. I don't know why. 
You know, Kaylee is an up and coming wrestler. She's as sweet as the things she makes, but don't underestimate her. You know, I don't know why. But she likes to use I... the. I don't know. There's just something about her. I've seen her a couple She's of so times. She also debuted on Overload, but she's been seen in the Unplugged shows against superstars like Danny, Rose, and Heidi, where she's proven to do her bakery of good quality. So, yeah. I've seen her on the I, Overload show. I, I did see her once on on the... Uh, on the Unplugged show. Unplugged so. shows and that. And um, she is one to watch. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like this one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Aww. those somber sounds can only mean one thing. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, coming at you from the darkest corners of Salem, Massachusetts, standing in at a height of five foot six, weighing 135 pounds of total scary awesomeness. It is the Morgan. We go from lightness and sweetness uh, to darkness in the water again but morgan is very up and coming the wrestler who has some amazing matches against our toughest competitors and she's done very well against them so you know he has had some amazing matches against some of our toughest veterans yeah her striking is quite impressive and her ability of moving the ring is awesome yeah She is amazing in the ring. This is going to be intense. Who can they even send out to keep up with these two women? We're soon to find out. Let's see. This is intense. I'll tell you, Kaylee certainly is showing her bubbly side, saying she can't wait to meet her. And here we go. Oh, yes. yes. Now that's how you handle this. You send out somebody who is simply unbelievable. In fact, you could say she's even a little tricky. It is standing in at five foot three. From Los Angeles, it is Miss Honey Pot. Now with Honey, you never know what's going to happen. She's going to reach into her bag of tricks, and you never, ever know what Honey's going to pull out of that little bag. She's a contortionist. She's she's always going to surprise us with the little tricky things she can do. She's bendy. She's twisty. She's a human little pretzel. So, yeah. You never ever know what to expect with honey. Miss Twisty and Betty. Name. Exactly. Yep. There's a reason they call her the trickster. She's got a bag of tricks this side of Texas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Best friend again. Hi, Hi honey. Your... Hello, honey. And think about the irony here. We got honey versus the baker. Well, as somebody in the crowd, honey's merely an ingredient. Mix her up, Kaylee. Already got some, uh, some pants what picking the? up. That's good. So, what did the rest of you think? Mm hmm. Come on. Well, not the out just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Three pretty amazing in women in the ring. Let's hear who you want. I know, guys. Come on. You've been pretty interactive so far. Keep it up. I'm liking the energy today. Come on. Keep it going. I'm liking this crowd. Wow. And we have Earl in the ring today. And yeah, pretty so far, we're pretty good with Earl, considering it's Earl. Let it, it's still early in the evening. That's true. And the bell has rung. And all three women get in the ring at the, in the center of the ring at the same time. And Kaylee's saying she's ready. They are all just. Hmm. 
they are sizing each other up. They are stalking yeah, they are. each other. Who's going to make the first move here? Flip a coin. Oh. Are they all locked up together? It looks like it. That's one way to get the match started. Oh, oh and Kaylee goes down first. Ow. Well, there goes the baker. Yeah. Looks like the baker just fell on her cream pie. All right. And MJ is locked up on honey. Ow. Oof. That is some vicious old school punches coming out of Morgan. Come on, Kaylee, get back up there. Come on, girl, you can get up and get back in there. Come on, use that self rising dough. Really, EOC? What can I say? She Come got on. in the oven, it's her own fault. And. Oh, Lord. I didn't know you knew baking oh, terms. And, oh, that big boot breaks a honey's face. Ow. Woof. And Kaylee's back up on her feet. She's going to the high risk oh, district at geez. this point? She's doing in the mile high group. Wow. And Kaylee's using her signature, the buttercream frosting. Wow. She just took both of them out. Oh. <laughs> just a tangle of people. Now that was interesting to see. <laughs> okay. They took her out early and then she came back and took them both out. Alrighty then. She just needed a yes. moment to catch her breath, that's, and she was right back in. Sweet. Well, it looks like it's Morgan's time to sit back and take a breath. Yep. She's I just going to let Kaylee what? and Honey just well, just beat them each out now. Oh, Kaylee's got her in that big bear hug. Ow. Oof. You know, for such a little girl, she seems to have a lot of power. Hey, when you work the rolling pin like that 24-7, you get pretty jacked. I guess so. Let's just be glad she didn't bring one out with her. Oh, Lord, EOC, I'm beginning to wonder about you. <laughs> There's lots of things wrong with me, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm beginning to find this out, partner crime. I'm beginning to find this out. It's a nice, nice creep. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, man, and those leg sweeps by Kaylee. I mean, talk about flattening things out there. Kaylee's doing a number on Honey. I don't even have to say anything about that. You already know. Oh, man, Already and those know. vicious stomps. Oh, those We're stomps. I, I feel those. Oh, you and Kaylee's oh. doing a thing to the cake buster. Man! Wow. And I, I... Kaylee, while you're out there serving numbers, I'd like a number two with an extra side of fries. Do we even want to know what's on that? <laughs> Oh, just the one count there. Oh, nope. Let's just say it's extra juicy. Morgan is just calmly... Oh. oh just the two count. She, um, I don't think she makes anything other than cakes here, EOC. I don't think she makes anything else. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. So she's a one-trick kind of pony. 
Oh my god, EOC, really? We got it. Well, if she doesn't work on her fighting game, I'm gonna start calling her sponge cake. Oh lord. Morgan has taken... taken control while Honey's catching her breath. But poor oh, Kaylee no. is, is just keeps getting it. Well, I mean, you have to give them. You have to give them your, you know, wow. give them, yeah. The the crowds are pretty much divided. I'm hearing a lot of cheering, a lot of booing. How can you pick a favorite out of these three? I mean, they're all, they're great athletes. They're, I mean. Oh, yeah, the three Premier, of them are. Premier has to have one of the top women, you know, women's wrestling is, in Premier is amazing. They're all amazing women. Morgan is just not letting up on poor Kaylee. Well, while Kaylee's putting a frosting on this cake, let's remember that in the Celtic lore, the Morgan herself is a goddess of war and fate. Is she fated to be victorious today? I, it's anybody's game in this one. It's, I mean, three women in the ring. It's anybody's game here, at EOC. And never count out Honey Pots. I mean, she's got that bag of tricks. So you never know what she's going to pull out of it. I'm telling you, there's one underrated exactly. fighter in this ring right now that nobody's even taken into account. And I'm about to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the one Who's person that? Earl? that nobody's thinking about exactly Earl himself. Yeah, we kind of always forget about Earl, but yeah, we try to forget about Earl. <laughs> Oh Lord! But and I mean, the, Premier has some. For... Of, Premier has some of the best women in you know, the wrestling world. So yeah. Oh man, and Kaylee with that flying elbow drop. And I think Morgan oh. used her signature, the crow kick. Oh, and honey, man. Oh, man. Oh. Honey, is the, the, and honey, honey just, for a good time with both of them down. And honey just literally broke up that pit with the boots out plancha. Come on, guys. How could you not be excited about something honey so was, extreme honey as was that? To let them... Honey can take full advantage right now with both of them down. Man. Oh my god, and did Honey just use the wisecracker? Oh. That is right, she did, and now just absolutely, oof. You know, it's looking like this is not the sweet dessert that Kaylee was dreaming up when she came into this match. Oh, man, right? Poor Kaylee. Yeah, for sure. And that was a joke's on you. Oh, working the legs with the kicks to the thigh. Oof.
That's just a veteran taking advantage of a good situation. I mean... Come on, yeah, guys. But wait, is that oh. Zach? What is Zach hey, doing out what here? Is, what? Zach, you do understand that this is a women's only match. Yeah, Zach. He sounds pretty mad. I mean, maybe he's upset because he can't participate in the women's division. I mean, do we need to make some kind of provision here? He was really angry last week, too. Zach, go back to the back. You don't need to be out here. Ain't nobody listening to what you got to say, sir. But he's watching pretty intently to see what's happening right now. Yeah. So, Morgan has definitely taken it to Honey Pot. Yes, she Ooh. is. With a super kick to the oh. face. Oh, man. Oh, and taking out Kaylee. Right Ow. out of the ring. Smart move. Oh, man, Kaylee out of the ring, and now Morgan and Honey are the only two left in the ring. Oh, man, right by not by her hair. hair. Really, oh, Morgan, up by the hair? Oh, and sending goddess. That oh. is awful. The stunning goddess, a signature finisher of hers. At least watch your language if you're going to be standing out here. Actually, she is actually setting her up using the signature. My bad. Oh, poor honey. Oh. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The crow's curse. Oh, God. Could this be it? And Kaylee just leaving? What? She's getting out while she still can at this point. She has just been absolutely outclassed this fight. Kaylee just left. Wow. Oh. One, one two, two, three. three. And the winner of your match, yeah. the Morgan. The Morgan. I can't believe Kaylee just left. Kaylee was like, I'm done. I'm out of here. She realizes this was one cake she couldn't bake. Wow. Wow. But I mean... Really, to, after all of that, to have Zach coming out making such a fuss like that. I mean, um, in my head. Well, I think he's got something to tell us. He's uh, certainly not afraid to take that oh, microphone. Okay. My head. Uh, what drunk, honey? You can't win a match. What are you doing here, Zach? It sounded like it sounded like you're having a lot of fun talking shit last week. What are you talking about? I was on commentary. You were you, you were being so mean to Matt. What's going on? 
Yeah, you made a big joke here? out of you made a big joke out of me last week, didn't you? Let's see no. how much of a joke you make of this now. No, I didn't. What what is wrong with you? Did he really? What the hell, Zach? Look, as much as I side with you to do whatever the hell you gotta do. I told you. What? Is it funny now? Is it? Is I it can't funny even now? This is happening right now. Can is somebody? Is it funny now? Go He's away. what? The only thing funny in that stage right now, Zach, is your face. Zach, what is wrong with you? It's it's mad. <laughs> we can get out fast enough. <laughs> Are you looking for anime roleplay in Second Life? Well, we have it here at Tohoku. We are a modern day Japanese small town located on the northern west coast of Japan. Anime inspired roleplay using a quick, easy, fair, and balanced roleplay system. We have police, fire, rokan, shinchu shrine, school, arcade, beach, and homes are available. This is anime roleplay at its finest. We are Tohoku. Welcome to the Boneyard Rock Club, PHX Business District, and Tracks. This sim has everything. Rock Club, shops to check out, a track, a beach, and a kid's playground. Yeah, this place is kid friendly. Camping area, premier unplugged, and more. So come check us out at the Boneyard Rock Club, PHX Business District, and Tracks. What in the hell is going on, Matt? What the hell is wrong with Zack? I didn't do anything wrong. He was being so mean to you last week. He's not acting normal. What is going on? Why did he attack me? Well, I don't know. It shocked me. He was, he's my best friend, and I don't know what happened to him, and I don't know what made him turn that way, but I want to. I, I don't know if I want to go talk to him. I don't know if I actually. I I am scared. You're scared. He, he shoved me down. Yeah. I don't yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I came out there to run him off. Cause. Oh my he's, god! Look out, man! Look out! He's behind you! No! No! Oh my god! Somebody help! Help! Get up! Get up! Get up now! I told you! Get up! Get up! Um, okay, guys, I think Zach has totally lost it. What the what? Like, he's, I... he's totally lost his mind. Yes, he has. I mean, I've never seen Zach. I mean, it's lucky that the security came and stopped him. I mean, Lord knows what he would have totally done to Matt right then and there. That is simply disgusting. As much as I'm all for doing what you need to do, that man, 
deserves to be hunted. I hope he doesn't have rabies. He didn't bite him, Fire. He hit him with a chair. Well... Pro wrestling began in the carnivals of France where the strongmen would go to the streets and challenge people to stand into a circle or onto a platform with them. The first man to be knocked off the platform or out of the circle lost. Thus, the term squared circle began. And now I stand before you, scars and all. No special camera angles, no glitz, no glamour, no makeup made up, make believe bullshit. My scars are symbols of absolute strength. Show me yours. Ladies and gentlemen, walking into the ring is the man known as the Wicked Cloud. Standing in at six foot seven, weighing 310 pounds, he's straight out of Chuck Below City with a signature move of the big top. Let's hear it for the one and only Juggalo Cloud. It kind of creeps me out, but I'm not a big fan of clown. Okay, there's a difference between a clown and a juggalo, though. I mean, what is it? The face paint that scares you? Then it must mean that Nene absolutely terrifies you every living moment of your life. Nancy, shut up! Look, That's I'm not, not saying nice. that there's a pound of makeup on your face. I'm saying that I can feel the weight of it from over in my seat. What? Eva. Wow. Okay, you guys do understand that this is a strongman contest. And the rules of this is the first man to fall off the ring to the ground below loses. The strongman contest of the past were inspired by sumo wrestlers. So apparently, that's why there are no... Yeah, apparently that's why. Well, today we are going to see if the Wicked Clown can withstand X's absolute strength. Yeah. So, X is paying honor to the homage of the pro origins of pro wrestling by walking the path of pro wrestling with that of which he loves. Well, if he's wanting to go into a strongman competition, I'm telling you, he could not have picked a worse opponent. Well, they picked, the X picks the match, so. You know, I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that X sees something in this rookie. Well, I mean, X is spending a lot of time working with the rookies and the newcomers to Premiere. He's been seeing them as a future Premiere, so... Yeah, I guess he went and literally went and picked, you know, Wicked Clown as, I you mean, know, the one to use for this match. I mean, Wicked Clown is absolutely insane. What kind of insanity the Wicked Clown is, no one quite knows yet. But in time, he will definitely reveal his insanity. It's almost well. like an homage to Nene there. Hey, he could, uh, hey, I give X all the right in the world to use it. Well, I'll tell you what, here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Start crossing those arms because standing in at six foot nine, weighing 295 pounds of championship world heavyweights. It is the one, the only, Throw up those crosses, because it's the X. And you know, X did say that he wanted to give Wicked Clown a shot at his belt, because he saw that, you know, the rookie earned it due, it due to all of his hard work when he was in training. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like X. Yeah, that does honestly sound like X. Oh, 
Hi, Axe. Hello, Axe. All right, champ. Shiny. This is going to be one hell of a match, guys, because, you know, I've seen Wicked, but when it comes to X, it's going to be, yeah. Brute strength against, you know, well, the Wicked Clown. Look, Insanity. Maybe brute strength, but the man is also a brilliant, brilliant grappler. Exactly. He can lock you up ten ways from Sunday. I mean, X is fast on the map, but he's going to have to rely on his speed in the ring in this match. And the fans are already getting into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do we want X to win this match or do we want the Wicked Cloud to win this match? And remember, it is for X's belt. Well, let's face it. X has tossed more men out of the ring than people have even picked up a spoon when they go to eat dinner. Wow, we've got somebody, the Wicked Cloud, to win this one. There's no rope, so nothing's going to stop them. Oh. Whoever goes over loses. Who moves first? X just yelled at Earl, who are, get, ring the bell and get off our platform. And X for the lockup. They aren't wasting any time. This is a true old-fashioned sumo-style match. There is yep. no ropes. There's no protection. There's just two men in the edge of a ring. Oh, man. And X is locking up with the Wicked Clown. And he's pushing him. Earl, you might as well just get out of there. Earl, you might as well just get down and stand by us. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get in the way of this match. They'll easily trample on somebody of your size. Mm -hmm. And not even notice. Earl looks like a smurf among men right now with these two out there. I know, right? And X rolling out of the way and trips it just trips wicked. Come on, guys. Poor Earl don't even know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying these performances, let them know. All donations show them that what they're doing great works helps us keep these shows coming every single week. That is right. And look at X going to work on the arms already. Oh, man. I tell you, I learned something the hard way the first time I was in the ring with the X. That man wretches on your arms, you're likely to lose them. X is showing off that tech skill he's known for. This is just a all-out brawl of muscle. Neither side wants to give in right now. Nope. Neither man's going to wear down very easily. Not at all. 
But the only way to the only way to win this is to go over the edge. That's it. That can happen in the split second. That can go in a blink of an eye. Oh man. Oh, and that ground impound. Impound. Oh man. Oh. Wicked Cloud is just pounding on X. Man. But again, like I said before, X is fast on the map, but in this contest, he's going to have to rely on the speed of the ring. I said it before, yeah. and yeah. Literally, he's going to have to. Look, neither side is going to give up in this struggle because both understand what's on the line here. Yep. Wicked may be new, but he's not stupid. Oh, of course not. Oh, man. Oh, and X has got him locked. I mean, we've already had one. Joke. Guys, we've already had one title change today. Could we see another? Wicked has a golden opportunity here given today, given to him by X today. Wow, what an, oh, what an upset that would be. Oh, the fans are not that happy. I mean, they're, I mean, remember guys, no pen's going to end this. No submission's going to end this. The only way to win this is by throwing your opponent out of the edge of the ring. I mean, literally, this match, oh, and a clothesline, oh, man, oh, oh, man, oh, oh, Lord, oh, and a double leg spine buster, oh, man, out, oh, X is really dangerously close. Oh, man. Oh, man. He was really, really close to the edge there. This could possibly be it. Is he going to go for a final move to get him off the edge? That's the real question. Or is he going to let X get back up? Oh, man. Ooh, be careful. Oh, oh, he's so wobbly. Gotcha. Oh. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it and put a X mark on it. Wrap that package up and send it home for Christmas because you're still reigning heavyweight champion is the one, the only throw up the crosses for your heavyweight champion, the X. Look, that man is no joke, and just like the intro says, X is going to give it to you. Exactly. Now, that was one heck of a match, guys. That was full of all sorts of energy. Congratulations, X. What the heck is going on backstage now? Oh, what a surprise. He's attacking more staff members. He beat somebody down. What? Literally, that creature has got to be stopped. Creature? That is what you call a man-child attacking just random staff members. No, that is a creature that is out of control that needs to be, you know, put down. Looking for a small community to live and work? Somewhere where you can watch your family grow 
or a place to hang out with friends? Well, come on by St. James Point. We have shopping with stores available, sky boxes and sky lofts for rent, and even parks for you to sit and relax. So stop on by, grab a cup of Rebels Roast and a donut and explore. Contact Sammy Redfire Resident for more information. Pink Moon Garden is an adult half sim with games, hangouts, a club, photo studio, blogger, wrestling, poses, couples, dance, under the sea, beautiful beaches, garden, monthly events. And you could set home here and res on land when in the group. Need a professional picture taken? They can help you out with that too. Contact Willa Zumbulin and Babette Upshaw for more information. I'm, I'm so glad I've got you both here. Uh, look, no, no, just, just hear me out. Just, just hear me out, Trey. You oh know, I, you know, I've had this good idea. You, you're not replying to my emails. You've not replied to the phone calls I've sent you. Look for what? We can, well, like I was, we're trying to get to it. This is the person we need. I've been telling you, this is the person that we need. If we can get the fear, the fear into these people, we can manipulate this this division and make it what we we planned to do in the first place. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work together. We're gonna have to work together. I know, mean, you've seen you know differences in the past and things haven't worked out. But I'm promising you, this is gonna be an investment for you. An this investment. is the person we need. Yeah, this is really? the person we need. The connections this person has got. They've got the fear we need. You know, what connections? What connections? You've seen the videos. You've seen the stuff that the, this person's done. You've seen uh, the I'll connections. Give you that, the look, 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 all I'm saying is if we can get control of this. You're about to make me say something. This is a, this is a family friendly show. You're about to make me say some really unfamily friendly stuff right now. Look, you, you need to understand my plan is going to work this time. I know what we failed in the past. But this is going to work. If we can get control, and control is the word we need, we can then use that, and use that element to create fear. And that's what we need right now. That's what's going to make them listen. It's going to make them do what we need them to do, and it's going to make them follow the direction we need to go in. But, y you know, I'm just, I just fired GM. Them. I can just fire them. They don't listen. Then, they get fired. Simple as that. we won't have anyone to perform. Look, I'm the GM. I can't make the choices you can make. But if you confront, you know, like the business and really enforce this direction, I really think it's going to be good for Overload. I mean, come on. Get involved. Let's have some fun, Trey. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. Fun. I'm not I'm not here to have fun, LG. I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to handle business. I tell you what. If you're gonna keep blabbing on and on about whatever this is, all right, all right, I'm in. I'm in. If if it'll get you to just shut the hell up, okay? Uh, I'm yes, in. Yes, yes, okay. yes. This is gonna work. Damn. I know it's gonna work. It better work. It better work. Okay. So, what do you think? What do you What do you propose? Are Are you on board? I'm, I'm on board. I'm all in. Just know that if this doesn't work, the both of you, the both of you, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna deal with it myself. Oh, I'm in. Ow. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to hear any excuses or anything. I, I just needed to get, get the job done. Okay. Well, well, I, well get it I'm done. 100 percent in, and I know, I know you're, you're now in, Trey. The real question is, are you in on this deal? That was Kira and Hunter's doll. That's the person what? who goes the and what? patrols what? Hunter. What are they thinking? 
Oh, dear God, no. They can't be thinking what I think they're thinking. Uh, they're going to be using him like a tool. Oh, dear God. Uh, oh, Lord. Nothing good could come from this, but I'm going to sit back and watch one hell of a show. Is that just going to be a tool to control the roster? Oh, Lord. I'm glad oh. I'm just here as, you know, a guest commentator today. Oh, Lord. God save y'all. Yeah. Look, you got the easy Something end of the stick. I'm going to be stuck thing. in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Good luck well, good on that one. Somebody has my back. Good luck on that one, y'all. Speaking of back. The party, I'm sorry, guys. I hate to say this, but literally, LG has gone totally bad. Hunter the Monster and Premier is about to get very, very, very unsafe. Taken from somebody who, you know, was targeted by him last season. Well, speaking of being targeted, listen to me because I have something to tell you. Coming to the ring from your latest. Nightmare, standing in at six foot, nothing, weighing 200 pounds of nightmare-driven fuel. It is the one, it is the only, Father Roy. Oh, him? Oh, joy. Creepy. No, yeah. He's not Mr. You know, dark and creepy, but he is kind of creepy. He's, let's in not a, forget. he's he's creepy in a sadistic sort of way. But right. yeah, he is kind of creepy. And not just being creepy, he interfered in last week's match with Ace. And it caused him to lose to Brody himself. And that is true. That's right. Because as he pointed out, he's targeting Ace because of his past sins. He says that sins don't erase themselves and Ace must confess. What sins does Ace go and commit? It's Ace! That man has a, lin of, a list of cyst sins a mile along. Well, here he comes, standing in. At six foot zero, weighing two hundred pounds, he comes with the one and only mark. That's right, it is the ace. I'm sorry, as long as I've known Ace, I've never seen him since, so I guess you all know something about Ace that I don't. But then again, when Ace's finisher, you know, when he does his finisher, the Ace Mark is for life. Once someone is marked, they can't ever get unmarked again. So hopefully Father Freud can avoid it at all costs. All right. Let's So let's see what happens. So, the mom, let's see who the fans want to. Okay, guys, we are in our main event. Come on. Let's hear we, the noise. We are in a main event, guys. This is Ace and Father Freud. Oh. Let us know who you want to win this. This is our main event. Make some noise. Oh. Let's go. Main event time. If you have to hit those buttons, the boo, cheer, do whatever you need to do. Make some noise. 
Ace is coming out strong. Always does. Ace always comes out strong. Oh, with that front guillotine by Ace. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. The one count. I mean, yeah, it was this great strategy. Just, just take him out before he even knows what's going on. Yep. Hit him okay. before they know what happens. How can you get away with anything better? Oh, and Ace just Matrix dodged that big boot by Father Freud. Man. Oof. And that's a Warshock test. Wow. So, guys, I wasn't here last week, so kind of catch me up on exactly what really kind of happened between all these guys. How did this all go about? Well, you know, last week, Ace was going in, going all out with Brody Hellwalker, and Father Freud showed up and ended the fight early for Ace by distracting him. Oh, really? He claimed that, th like I said, that he has sins to pay for, and only he can help him confess those sins. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he's setting up for a freaking Ace Mark. Oh, I no. Think... Father Freud doesn't want to be Ace Mark, because once you get Ace Mark, you have that for life. Come on, Ace. Hit him with it. I think Ace counter Boy finishers the inevitable. And they're going out of the way at the absolute wait, 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 Ace! Ace, let's talk about this for a second. No, I, I understand what you feel. Confession's a very scary thing and all that, but... <laughs> you dumbass. Is Father Boyd running away from Ace? Can you blame him? Really? Oh, oh and then he turned on. on him with a super kick. Oh, Led him man. around the ring. Follow the monkey, oh. ladies and gentlemen. What is up with that? Really? Oh, Lord. What the fuck is this shit? Right? I agree with that, Trixie. I honestly Wait agree a with minute. You. Wait, Wait a minute. Is he stealing... Ace's own move. Is he going to ace mark ace? Really? What? Uh, what? Okay, like, I can get totally away with it. You can't ace mark the ace with his own with his own move? Really? Wow. You really tried to ace mark ace with his own move. Really? Come on. Now he's showing them why you don't use somebody's oh. move against them. Oh, he's Lord. going for the pin. One. Only two, a two, two count. Just a two. Oh. Oh, man. Ay, Lord. I'm telling you. Ace is getting the crowd on his side. Come on, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Come on. Let us know who you really want to win this. Ace or Father Freud? Come on. Make the noise. Come on. Oh. oh. Come on. We need to hear a lot more noise. This is oh. our main event. Oh, it come looks on. like he's already exhausted. He went for a pin and just couldn't get it through. <laughs> oh, man. He is not looking good as he gets up. Well, I don't.
Oh. Oh, here we go again. I know, I know what I said at the first. Was it quite what you wanted to do? Go for it too! <laughs> oh man, he's literally trying to distract Ace by speaking to him. And he slapped Ace. What is up with that? Wow. Come on, this isn't Slap Tickle Fight 9000. Let's remember we're in a ring, gentlemen. And now he's chasing them around the ring. And what are we playing? <laughs> ring around the rosy here? Around the ring? This, this just has been one bizarre night, but, but such an awesome party. Literally. Come on, guys. Get back in the ring. I feel like we're back at the playground well, right now, watching know, two children right? play with each other. And Earl's counting him. He's up to a three. Come on. Can we get back in? He's up to a four. Oh, come on, guys. And now they're back. Now yeah. Ace is back in the ring. They're both back in the ring. Into a pin. Yep. Oh, Looks like just the two count. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord. Up at the standing star oh. of pain. Oh man. Oh, and a tree of woe kicks. Oh man. That has Ow. got to hurt. Oh. And Earl yelling at him to get out of the corner. Oh man. And Ace using his, oh man, those, the famous knee, man, oh. Man, oh man, oh man. Looks like it's Father Freud's time to go back and send him a little bit of a signature move if you will yeah coming from the top ropes ladies and gentlemen oh, it's the morning oh but it was cornered or countered excuse me yes wow now what who uh, are they oh now what they're sending out brody in the middle of this fight is he setting up Brody, or is Brody just coming out? Well, I guess we're about to find now. Maybe he's upset that he didn't get to finish his fight properly last well, week. Father Freud interrupted yeah. his match, so maybe he's coming out to. Yep. Payback time. Oh Lord. Wow. I guess we're gonna find out who he's really after. Because let's face it, Brody's virtually an unknown in this situation. Other than the fact that his fight was interrupted, he has nothing to do with either of these men. Get out of the way, Earl. I agree with Earl. He's not getting paid enough for this. Yeah, I'd get out of the way of those horns too, let's face it. What the heck? Oh no. Oh my god. The extinguisher, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. Oh. Looks like Is he it... just put out Father Freud's fire. What a move. What the heck? Hey, wait, wait. What do you think you're doing? This is my match. You do not own this place. You do not get to walk around and do whatever you like. 
Well, this match is thrown out officially. That means nobody is the winner yeah. in this situation. No, Father Freud win. He just disqualified Ace. Oof. Oh, that was a, a, a toe kick. kick. And that is, again, setting up oh. once more. The extinguisher. Oh, man. Ow. Oh. Now oh. he's just beating. I am a Hellwalker warrior, also known as a Demon Slayer. And I have a mission to eliminate all the demons that I detect around me so that humans can finally live in peace. The evil in Father Freud must be stopped. And the only way is through punishment. No one, not even you, Ace, can stand in the way of my mission. O. M. G.